What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new segment on this channel called Pope Picks where I'm going to be going over what films are coming out this weekend in theaters and what you guys should be checking out. I'm going to give you guys my recommendations and of course guys make sure to slap that like and subscribe button as hard as you can and also comment down below and let me know what you guys are checking out this week and what you guys already saw. Let's have a great discussion down below in the comments. Make sure to hit that share button as well. But without further ado, let's get started. So coming up first, what we have is a brand new Kristen Stewart movie called Underwater. Now this one actually looks quite entertaining. It is kind of about these researchers who are underwater, no pun intended on there, and they are just trying to keep swimming alive because after an earthquake happens, it destroys their laboratory and they end up, yes, they end up screwed down there and have to find their way to get out of back up to the surface but at the same time there might be something lurking under the water now the funny thing about this is I have not seen the trailer at all for this one but hearing that Kristen Stewart's in it a movie that now if you haven't followed her in the last couple of years you should probably check out some of her filmography she's really came back from Twilight and I'm curious to see what she's gonna be doing with the rest of her career now going forward underwater looks like a tight contained thriller one that might keep you on the edge of your seat and also takes borrows elements from aliens so I'm kind of all for that coming also into theaters is gonna be like a boss now I love I have to say it because you don't know what Lonely Island is. That's what who made that song. Like a Boss stars Selma Hayek, Tiffany Haddish, and of course Rose Byrne. And it's about two best friends who decide to start a business together. One wants to live the lavish life though, and the other one wants to be a little bit more responsible than that one. Could cause for some friends to be a little bit, maybe not so friendly in the end of the day. But this looks to be a really fun comedy. I'm a big fan of Rose Byrne, and I'm also a major fan of Tiffany Haddish. And I think if those are kind of your two cup of teas, make sure to go check that one out as well. But truly, the two films that are finally expanding wide release this week is Just Mercy and 19. Starting with Just Mercy, Just Mercy stars Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx and even Brie Larson as well. And it's, a, it's based on a true story about Ray Stevenson, who in fact is a attorney who is trying to get an innocent man off death row. That death row inmate is played by Jamie Foxx and this is a very heartwarming film while at the same time making you feel a little bit sick. It makes you want to get passionate and go against these certain things and it's directed by a wonderful director who's going to be up directing an upcoming Marvel film, Shang-Chi, which just sounds awesome in its own right. I'm very much excited for Just Mercy. I got to check it out a couple weeks back, and it's one of the movies that I definitely recommend to you because of the fascinating performances and what it does in its whole entirety. But then we have 1917, which was one of my favorite films of 2019. It is finally expanding, and it is absolutely one of the best war films ever created. Think about this. It's one shot take. You're following these soldiers, going behind enemy lines, just trying to get a message to the other side. It is intense, it's enthralling, and it's action-packed, but at the same time it's also very much emotional it's not too brutal in that camp there are some brutal scenes in there some people were asking me about some of the gore in my review currently but it's definitely one of those movies that you should check out in theaters because the experience is unlike anything else but guys that's it for my pope picks make sure again to hit that like and subscribe button comment down below and let me know what your guys thoughts are on this week's movies what are you guys going to be going to check out i'm definitely going to go try and see 1917 and reviews for all these should be posted up in the link above as this is going up because i have already seen them all by the time i post this video so thank you guys so much for watching this and of course until next time stay classy